Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I know many of you who watch my channel and other budgeting channels out there are working on paying off some debt and savings. I wanted to talk to you guys about five mistakes that I feel we made while paying off debt. I'm going to get right into it. Number one, one of the, I think the biggest mistake our family had while paying off debt is we didn't have enough of an emergency fund. All we had was $1,000 in there, which would have been great for a small emergency, but if it would have been a bigger emergency, it would not have been good. So for us, $1,000 I didn't feel was enough, and I was kind of stressed out by only having that amount and throwing everything else towards the debt. I would have felt a lot better with a little bit bigger, even like 3000 I would have felt much better about that. Number two, the other big thing is, and this one, I could have paid it off faster. Let's say you have two people that want to pay off $10,000, and they're both on the same kind of income, and they have the same expenses, the same standard expenses. Maybe person one is really willing to cut back, and they want to go and pay off that debt as fast fast as possible. They want to get that $10,000 paid off in a year. And so they are going to cut to the bare bones. Maybe the second person wants to pay off $10,000, but they want to enjoy the process and they don't want to have to be on a really strict budget and because they know that it's going to take them a while. And so they take two years, but they're not on as strict of a bare bones budget. You can do it however you want. Where I think I made a mistake is, is that I still kept auto ships and services and I really think that I could have been a lot more frugal while paying off debt and we could have done it faster. So that would be the second mistake I feel that we made. Number three, and this is another one, it kind of goes with number one. I do think it's important to pay off debt, but I also think that it's important to set a little aside for savings for emergencies. And I know I've mentioned this so many times in so many videos over the last three and a half years, is that let's say you have $1,000 in your savings, but yet you're, and you're not saving while paying off debt, and you have a $1,200 plumbing bill. Well, you only have 1000 to take care of that, so then you don't have any more money. Maybe you could sell something possibly to get that extra 200 But some people, if they don't have enough in savings or they're not saving along while they're paying off debt, they may end up in a situation where they end up using their charge card again, which kind of defeats the purpose of paying off debt. So I really think that I would have liked to have saved even just a little bit each month while I paid off debt. Number four, you guys know I use the cash envelope system and I still kind of do this, moving money around in my cash envelope system. So if I run out of money from one envelope, I take from another envelope. I have been very guilty of doing that, I have to admit, and many people will not do that. When that money's out of that envelope, for example, if they have money for health and beauty items and they have leftover grocery money, they don't take leftover grocery money to buy a beauty item. They just wait on that beauty item. Me, I would take it from another fund. So I actually didn't feel that bad about that, but really it would have been better if I would have stuck to a stricter budget and not done that because I think I could have paid off debt faster and it would have been better for me to be more disciplined. Okay, also number five, the bottom line is, and this kind of sums this all up, I could have been a lot more frugal and learned a lot more. All I simply did was I paid my bills, I saw what was money was left over, and I threw all the leftover money towards my debt. Yes, we became debt free. We paid off our house, my daughter's furniture, and our car. That's all great. But I felt I could have been learning frugal skills along the way. For example, I could have learned more about meal planning and ways to slash my grocery bill. I could have looked at my services and reallocated my budget. I just kept with current expenses and didn't change anything, except I looked for ways to make extra money, and any money that came in, I just threw it at my debt. So I think I could have planned better. Yes, we're debt free, but I feel like I could have been a better learning process along the way, and I also think that I could have paid it off sooner if I would have incorporated some of these tips that I just said below. So let me know if any of you guys are in the process of paying off debt. And if you are, share with us some of your great tips. 
We always love to hear from you. This is Money Mom signing off, and as always, I love you. Bye-bye.